this definitely kind of brought tears a bit when I had to literally write and see how I will put it out to the public. They kind of value themselves based on the amount of likes they get. My story motivating others, that's definitely what I wanted. Reggae family, this is Wagwan Munchi coming to you straight from Kingston, Jamaica. And I'm very excited because I have a guest with me that has impressed us quite a lot in the last few months. Yes. Finally, I'm here to talk to him personally, Devin the Doctor. How are you today? I'm good, Wagwan Munchi. <laughs> <laughs> well, not much, we'll see. You're going to tell me you are one. As I said, it, you have impressed me and the, the Reggae and Dancer fraternity quite a lot because you released an EP in December yes. called Beer Thoughts. And um, it was a, oh yeah, there we have it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a great project, also a very brave and honest project. Mm -hmm. Tell me what was the motivation and the inspiration behind this record? The motivation and inspiration behind it was for me to show people who Anthony Clark, who is the person behind Devin the Doctor, mm -hmm. truly is. Normally I would do songs like and I'm not sure if I'm familiar with this song, Ribambi Deng Deng, and the yeah. kind of songs that would have the girls dancing in the parties and everything. Mm -hmm. Now I just felt like I need to show people the more serious side mm -hmm. of Devin the Doctor, mm -hmm. show them that versatility, show them that I'm very lyrical yeah, and I have more than just wind up songs to sing about. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that was the main aim, and like I said, just be true, be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of being honest, because I mean, speaking um, very personal issues as well. You told me previously that you're normally not the type of person to go out there and tell everybody everything. Yes. So, um, how long did it take you to actually make the decision to say, okay, I'm going to make a personal record. I'm going to tell the world about certain issues. And then when the release date came, was that also somewhat of a fearful moment? Yes, on the release date. It al always been I always I always have that fear, you know, like to open up to the public and then, you know, the the court of public opinion. A man I said this and a girl I said mm -hmm. that and yeah. then you, yeah. knowing that it's something personal to you, you know, everybody have feelings. So, I'm um, always right about my personal life and go in the studio and record it. But it's the first um I actually release something. That's very personal. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I would just sit down and write because writing is like my way of escape. Mm -hmm. You know, escape mm -hmm. through writing and I just write and have them, record them, put them down, drive and just listen. Mm -hmm. But to actually release it, it takes a lot of courage. Yeah. A lot yeah. of courage and I might send it to a few friends and say, Yo, what do you think about this? And yeah. they say, Yo, it body should release it. And I said, No, it's it too personal. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, and I say, Okay, release data just. Touch the button and close okay. my eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was gone. Mm -hmm. um, Beer Thoughts, that's the EP that we're going to speak a bit um, more in detail in just a few minutes from now. Certainly one of the most impressive projects that we received last year from the Dance of Fraternity from Devin the Doctor. And we also ask you out there, the regular family, to tell us what your favorite album of the year was. You voted in the poll and I'm happy to congratulate Stick Figure on their win for World on Fire. What's up y'all, this is Scott from Stick Figure. I want to say thank you for voting World on Fire. Our new album, number one on Reggae Bill. Catch you guys soon. was the winner of the album of the year poll you can find all the results in the yearbook from reggaeville which is out now it's for free it's digital you can just go on the website and browse through it also including the highlight from devon the doctor yes. for example and um yeah we spoke about the, the ep already and with the ep came a lot of videos also yes. one for a c one for when i'm gone one for internet yes and that is the one i would love to talk about yeah. now tell me a bit about the story and and what motivated that video um with internet now um the internet motivated it yeah. like the title you know being on the internet and i realize um 
it's affecting our ladies, our young women especially, you know. They kind of value themselves based on the amount of likes they get. They might put up a picture and if it don't yeah. get a certain amount of likes, by this time they take it down and try to post the next one. And then because a female out there who is popular on the internet posts a half-naked picture, the younger ones will then feel like you have to post a half-naked picture to be accepted. Yeah. You know, and it's something that's really affecting our young women. And I just felt the need to do a song about it. Like I said, this project is about me being truthful. Same thing exactly how I see it. Hence the name, Bare Thoughts. Bare as in, it's raw, unfiltered. It's just bare. Mm -hmm. And it's just thoughts, things I have in my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, so I just put it out there because people need message like this. Yeah, man. Certainly. I think it's a very important issue that you touched there with, with internet. But then again, there was the video for Lion, and that was yeah. really the, the one that caught my attention. Yes. When you listen to the lyrics of Lion, it's, it, it, it boasts self-esteem, it's about strength, about faith, about confidence. Mm -hmm. But when you watch the video and you read the inserts and the caption that is there, you can see a whole different side because you're talking about anxiety, you're talking about having friends turn in the back on you mm -hmm. and being let down by producers etc um that as you told me is also all 100 percent truthful yes. um what how, what how did you come up with the idea for this video mm -hmm. and how was the moment like when you actually wrote the that yeah. text there um yeah, it's writing this text specifically um, for the lion video. This definitely kind of brought tears a bit when I had to literally write and see how I will put it out to the public. Mm -hmm. There's so now I basically brace myself and say, okay, here it is. Mm -hmm. People are going to see this side, yeah. which is like I said, I wanted to show them, but I still had that fear yeah. that kept holding me back. I say, oh, you know, but then I said, you know, I need to do it my story can motivate others mm -hmm. and that's the aim so i just say like i said me just shut my eye just press the enter button and just yeah. send it out yeah. to the world Bloody yes Bloody. and what feedback have have you gotten from people on it um great yeah. brilliant a lot of people especially send me message dms especially and say yo um they felt like giving up and then after watching the video and reading especially the caption mm -hmm. They realize that they're not the only one going through something like that. Yeah. They have been rejected by producers, friends turned them back on them also and you know, all of that and then we say, Oh, this actually feel good, like my story motivating others. That's definitely what I wanted and to see that people is receiving the message, yeah. definitely I will definitely continue on this path. Yeah, man. I think it's so important that someone speaks up about these issues because a lot of people feel like they are the only ones yeah. dealing with these issues and they are not but do you feel as if it's especially hard for a dancehall artist to tackle an issue like that because normally when you yeah. do dancehall you're big bad bossy yeah, yeah, all yeah. of that yeah that's it in a, it, it is because dancehall have the clash culture and then me Growing up in the clash culture, I won a competition where I had to clash. I had to face off with another oppo opponent. So, you know, I knew that doing that, people can use it back at me. And then knowing the lyrics is that I am already prepared and have some lyrics ready put on one corner. Not that I am on the clash path right now, but I'm always prepared. So, always, oh, ever ready. <laughs> so, yeah, man. So, but yeah, dancehall artists don't normally talk about this. And like I said, we all go through it. We all got you, we're all humans and if we just brave up we can inspire a lot of youths. They can listen to reggae music and hear it, but dance all mm -hmm. we just feel like yeah. yo, I'm gonna go use it against me. You know, so that's the reason why we normally shy away from it. But I think we need to just step up and speak exactly how we feel because we have fans out there who are especially kids who are going through these things and without anyone to really inspire them or make them feel motivated and know say yo. My favorite person in the world I go through this mm -hmm. and I'm going through it and if my favorite person get through it that means I can get through it. You know, so I think we need to sing about these topics more. Yeah. When you were younger, at age sixteen already you won the, the Tacy Talent Trail and then the Magnum Kings and Queens just a few years later. By the time you were nominated for the Grammy, yeah. at that point you were the youngest yeah. person. Did that put a lot of pressure on you also? Or do you put a lot of pressure on yourself? Um, no. 
I don't do it. Um, with me, I love music, and I just feel like when it's my time to get whatever, because I I've been putting in the work. Um, I go get my props when it's time. You know, nothing happened before the time, and certain things might happen where you might not be ready for. And you know, you just continue and continue. So that means if you're not ready, it now go reach to you. It's someone else will get it. You just continue to do your work and don't pressure yourself. Me not pressure myself. Mm -hmm. Me just do music and try to do the best. And my goal is always to be better than yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's just me. Um, like I said, just do music and wherever it reach, it will reach. And I'm always ready to go where the music take me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you also put out a text at some point on the social media where you had all the song titles from the EP included <laughs> yeah. and it also said when I'm gone and when I was suicidal. Yeah, yeah. All of this is truthful as well? Yeah man, that and it, it's deep. Yeah. You know, you read it, the message, I just put out the songs one one and people might see it and say, oh, but then after now you see what it really meant. You know, so like I said, this project is definitely deep. It's from the heart and like I said, bear thoughts, it's everything that I've been thinking. Just put it out to the world. So your project might help others that are dealing with yeah. similar issues or same issues, but who or what did actually help you in those um, moments that you were singing them? Um I think me you know, personally I'm I might be the strongest person I know. You know, and I feel like whatever you can do, me can do it too. We both got we both born dumb and you grow and people teach you and you will learn things so me can do the same exact thing with producers if a producer don't want to advise me okay i get the same program i use and me sit down and me study it because the best thing is to be able to read and write so big up saint mary high school big up saint mary my parents my sister them my brother them everybody um me can read and write Whatever you do, like I said, I can do it. So if you're a producer, you don't want advice me, I get the same program you use. If you're a video director or editor and you don't want to edit my video to how I want it, get the program and I learn it. Um, distribution, everything, marketing, everything. So I end up creating um, my own label. Because of things like this, because I might want a song to be released on the 10th of January. And you feel like it should be released on the 12th. It's my project, it's my idea, this is what I want. You know, this is the vision that I have, not because you might have maybe more fans or more access to certain um, luxurious things in the industry, like, for example, a big label or something behind you. Me need it on the tent. That's my idea, that's the vision I have. So I say, okay, I need to control my thing. Back in the days when I just started out, really after Magnum, the competition, um, I was basically freestyling, you know? The bugger producer might link you, especially young ones, and you just record some because you feel like this is the way, you know. But mm -hmm. when you don't know anything, people take you for fool. Mm -hmm. So my advice to everyone is um, read, try to understand the business, and then plan. You know, so now, like I said, own record label, so now I can plan. You know, if you plan, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So now, so I have a steady plan where I say, okay, this is my work with this must release this date then this will release after and nobody in this world can tell me no David no <laughs> me can do it because this is my thing this is my label this is my song my lyrics my idea my everything so nobody can tell me no again that past you could tell me no and take me for fool maybe a year or two ago not today mm -hmm. yeah so eventually, with you having your own label now, you started the music business, Study you do your thing, everything. eventually the outcome of all of this was very, very positive. Yes. That's, that's also something mm -hmm. that people can learn from, yes. from also negative things, that yeah, it can turn into something positive. Yes. yes, like I said, with my mind, if you tell me you cannot do something for me, I am going to learn it. And I'm going to learn it and try to be better than you. Just to show you, say, <laughs> we can do it to bridging. <laughs> yeah, man. So th that's just me. And I would advise everyone yeah. to, like I said, learn the business of music and just go for it. Nobody in the support, especially today with, with technology, which break down all the barriers I can stay from here in Jamaica. And big up to you. Big up to Reggaeville. Um, I've been getting messages from New Zealand. Saying they see my they saw my feature, so now I have to send some albums to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, so yes, yeah, so a big up for that. Uh, um, and it's all over the internet. It's through the internet where we linked up. So 
Yeah, so the internet break down all of that barriers where you would maybe have to go to a record label like A&R or so to get yeah. to me. No, you can just go on Instagram and see my page or me see your page and we just link up. Yeah, so man. just make use of the internet, do the right thing on the internet and just go for it. So Beer Thoughts, that's the EP that is yes. out. All the videos that we mentioned. Yeah, videos come in. Yes, exactly. um, we'll I'll talk about yes. we'll talk about it. <laughs> Just give me a bit. Give me a bit. Yeah. Because there are videos out already, as I mentioned, Internet, Lion and so forth. They're all on Devin the Doctor's YouTube channel. So check out that. You can watch them there. If you go on the regular YouTube channel, you can always watch new videos and premieres. Every day we have a new videos. And we spoke about highlights from the past year already. So we're gonna catch a little piece of the one that has got the the premiere that got the most views in 2019, mm -hmm. which is Fire Child featuring okay. Busy Signal. Alright. Words and meditation of to up full and right. Not the light it up to bright. Get a you, get a you rise. Bad mind and road, we know for everything. Yeah. Pretty care where you drive and the girl where you are, there's everything, everything. Rust up them flow now and them blessings king. Now them they are an approach, man, for everything. Yo, just to work hard. Haters a chat them a be a fraud Cut and go through your feet say bad mind not pre dark It's like your ears hard Man not stop from praise God Almighty protect me from the back of field See them and up up with be a God And I try to be a God That was our most viewed video premiere of 2019 And of course more videos are coming up also from you, right? Yes. Tell me a bit more because I interrupted you earlier <laughs> So now yeah. you can tell me what I'm um, So it, it's still from Beer Thoughts yeah. Still on this project because um a lot of people, especially here in Jamaica, we don't really have access to maybe a Spotify and Apple Music where you can get all the music mm -hmm. one time. So a lot of people have to wait on YouTube mm -hmm. or certain other free sites. And so I said, OK, a lot of people already know these songs, like I said, on Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere else. But the visuals now is where my thing then also. Um, I have two brand new videos, which is the two final songs on it, which is Safe Haven and Suicidal. And trust me, them video here, <laughs> them video here crazy. Right. Like it pushed, like with me, like the other videos, keep pushing the boundaries and them here definitely on that path. Nice, nice. So I'm looking forward to seeing them. Yes. What else can I look forward to from you in 2020? I'm um, 2020, I think I want to do more projects. Mm -hmm. You know, instead I just drop a one single here. Mm -hmm. And I put, put together bodies of work, you know, where instead they listen to one song and then have to skip and go find the next one you can just listen to a, a solid piece of project it might not be a full length album i don't think i'm ready for an album mm -hmm. but definitely a lot of eps mm -hmm. yeah i think i might drop an in terms of videos mm -hmm. i have crazy amount of videos to drop like like i said projects mm -hmm. so a lot of visual projects are from one to if maybe five tracks you have five videos to watch mm -hmm. the songs might not be um linked but when I watch the video, it kind of bring everything together. Oh, so yeah, I'm different type of cool. thing that I drop, man. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man. Nice. All right, so I have enough things to look forward nice. to. Um, again, I want to thank you for sharing your message with us for, for this brave project that you put out there last year that um, you inspired people with, hopefully, and then hopefully also in can encourage people with. So for all the music coming up, hopefully just as wonderful as this previous yeah, project. I think the music that, that's coming up now is, I don't want to say it's bigger than Jamaica because our music is the biggest thing. It's, it's the most powerful genre. So I don't want to say it's, a big, the, it's bigger than Jamaica, but definitely some massive things from Jamaica, nice. from Devin the Doctor. Let's look out 2020 and beyond. Certainly. All the best for that. And thank you very much for taking the time to come to Wagwan Munchi. Yes, man. Wagwan Munchi. Bless up, Reggaeville. Wagwan Munchi.